Okay, here we go. It's time to get some animation done. The first thing we'll do is set up the first contact pose. And the reason it's called a contact pose is because it's from when the foot that was at the back that's just been raised contacts with the floor again. So if we have a look in uh, my little series of images that we used earlier, it's when this foot here at the back has been, so you can see it's been raised, it's passed, and then here it's contacting with the ground again. So that is a contact pose. So we're going to create the first of these. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some work on the hip controller. We're also going to make sure that the playhead is on frame one. Right, so what I'll do first of all is just move this down a bit and I'll also move it forward. The reason I'm moving it down is because we want to give some sort of freedom so the legs can move around. And the reason I'm moving it forward is because I want to create the illusion, the feeling of momentum. So I want it to look like the character's leaning forward. To further the kind of feeling of him leaning forward, I'm also going to rotate him a little bit as well, just so that he's kind of leaning into this walk. Right, I also want to do a little bit more work on these hips, but before I do that, I kind of need to know um, which leg is going forward and which leg is going back. So I'm going to select the right leg first, and I'm just going to move it forward a little bit, and then I'll select the left leg and I'll move that backwards. And I'm moving the right leg forward just because that's the one I prefer to move. I, I don't know why, it's Just I think it's because it's the one nearest to me. Okay, so now I know which is going forward and which is going back, I can rotate the hips a little bit further. So, I'll select my hips controller again, and what I'm going to do now is rotate so that the hip of the foot that's going forward is also facing forward a little bit, so leaning into it. So I'm just going to do that a little bit, just leaning in, bringing that hip forward. And what I'll also do is I want it to look like weight's being transferred as well. So I'm going to just drop that hip a little bit to make it look like the, the weight is kind of going through that leg. So I'm just going to bring that down a touch as well. So I'm, I'm fairly happy with the hips there. So what I want to do now is work on getting the legs set up on this pose. So I'm going to concentrate on the foot leg first. And what I'll do first of all is just move as far forward as I can without overextending the knee, which I think is about there. But what I want is kind of, let's just go back to my image. I want to raise it up off the ground a bit like I've got going on there. So to do that, I'm going to introduce you to the extra controls on this rig. So if you look in the channel box, along with being able to access your translate and rotate values, as you can with kind of any object in Maya, there are also these extra character animation controls. And the one that we want in this case is the foot roll controller. So I'm making sure I've got the foot selected that I want to work on. I'm going to left click on this foot roll control here. And then using my middle mouse button, I'm just going to click and drag either left or right until I get kind of what I want. So you can see now that that's raising the foot, which is what I want. So I'm going to raise it to about that sort of angle, I think. And what that also does, it means I can move the foot a little bit further forward as well. So it's giving me a little bit more to work with. So I'm going to move it to there. I think I've actually kind of overextended that a little bit on the foot roll. So I'm just going to bring that in a little bit and just bring that back. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So what I'm also going to do is work on the back foot. So I select that one and similar to what I just did on the um, the front foot, I'm going to take it as far back as I can without overextending it. So it's about there. But what I want to do now is create kind of a, a tiptoe sort of effect. So I don't know if I drew that on my image. Um, but what I'm looking for, we'll draw this on now, is this leg that's coming down is kind of contacting the floor, but then you've got a little bit of a change in the, the foot there. So that is what I'm going to try and create with this foot. So to do that, I'm going to select both the foot roll and holding control on my keyboard, I'm going to select the foot break as well. And then with my middle mouse button, I'm just going to drag until I get um, a foot position that I like. And again, you can see that's given me a little bit of freedom to be able to move that foot further back, which I'm going to take and give me something like that. Um, okay. So that is the beginnings of the walk cycle. So this is the, the first contact pose. And I'm pretty happy with that. 
So I think what I'll do now is I'll key this pose. So in order to do that, what I need to do is drag a box. So I'm going to click and drag uh, to get a marquee selection of all the controllers. You see that they're all highlighted here. And then on frame one, I'm going to press S on my keyboard. And that keys everything. So you can see straight away we've got some red lines here. We've got a red line down here. And if I select any of the controllers, you can see that there you go. Everything's keyed. Same on this one. And same on the hips. Everything's now keyed. Brilliant. But what we also need to keep in mind is this is a walk cycle. And for a cycle to work, the first frame and the last frame need to be identical. Being similar is no good. They have to be 100% identical. So to ensure that we, that's what we get, we're going to make sure we've got all the controllers selected and we're going to go to frame 25. And then we're going to press S again. And that just ensures that those two frames are going to be exactly the same thing. Right, so that wraps up the first contact pose. Woohoo! Uh, what we're going to do in the next step is we're going to set up the second contact pose where we reverse the leg positions and reverse the rotation on the hips.